style and I think I'm finally to the point in my detox where many people would give up and say that is enough no more the ruffles are making me sick or the juices are making me ill or I just can't take it anymore and instead of giving up, I'm going to push myself to the next level. <laughs> this green juice hand bought to make is going to be crazy. Um, today's Sunday, the 16th, I believe, of December. And uh, let me see if I can backtrack a little bit. Friday, I drank nothing but juices. I actually had three quarts of the beet juice videos posted whatever um was all in it and then yesterday saturday was supposed to be my colonic and i posted that video about what happened on my way to the farmer's market and my colonic appointment my car broke down and i'm just hoping and praying that it can be fixed and so yesterday i ended up drinking the fourth quart of beet juice i was going to drink it after my colonic but since it never happened i decided to drink it and that was about um, <coughs> um, I'm trying to think, sorry. Maybe 11. And so it is now noon on Sunday, so I did 24 hours water fasting. So I drank that beet juice. So let me see. So Thursday, I mean, I'm sorry, Friday, juice fast all day, serious juice. That was a really detoxifying juice that really kicked it up. Uh, yesterday was one quart of beet juice at about 11 and then the next 24 hours I've had nothing but water and I've done a lot of resting and so now I'm getting ready to make a juice and I'm going in for my colonic at three so I'm really excited about that like I said when you guys see this juice and then the colonic and I'm just stepping it up stepping it up but then I'm going to kind of like back off a little bit you know I'm really trying to heal that gut before I like start back with the roughage and the salads, but I am anxious, super anxious to eat a salad. So I'm not sure. Um, I I know I'm gonna juice fast the rest of today, and I'm not sure about tomorrow. Definitely keep you guys posted. Here is my juice for today. I have got a head of romaine. It's a romaine heart. A nice bunch of dandelion greens. And they are so fresh and amazing, and I just, oh, I'm so feeling this right now. I'm going to do the whole thing of celery. I've got two cucumbers, two bunches of cilantro. i got one here, one here. Let me see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve apples. I think I'm going to throw... These four oranges and two limes in. I don't have any lemons, so I'm going to work, just work with what I got. I don't know if this is going to taste good. I don't know if it's going to be horrid. I don't know what it's going to do to me, but it feels like it's right. Uh, the rest of that ginger, and I really don't want to put this bead in, but I'm going to because I have it. I have one more, but um, it's really good. Good stuff. So... This will be a great little bit. I will have a little bit before my colonic, and then I will save most of it for afterwards just to kind of replenish my system. So I'm going to juice this and bravely taste this one. So I hope everybody's well, and I'm going to get to work. Oh my word, would you check that color out? That is before I even added any of the dandelion greens. I've not added any of those yet. That is a healing juice. And I've got some more in there. And I must say, thank you so much to Jay Cordich for telling me the proper way to juice my oranges. And... I just want to express my sincere and truest gratitude to Linda Cordich. I have so much gratitude for you. Thank you so much for being such a support and just being there for me from the deepest part of my soul. I thank you so much for all the time and dedication that you have put into just speaking to me, talking to me through email, and just everything that you and Jay have done. Just thank you. 
thank you, thank you, thank you for being you, and thank you for being there. But I hope I make Jay proud. I've got my four oranges, and I've got all my pith, and so I'm going to break them apart and put them in my Jay Cordes juicer and finish my celery, my dandelion, and my apples. So, oh, and I just, I don't know about this beet, man. That juice was so strong the other day. So, I'm still kind of waiting to see if I'm going to put that in there. But at this point, this, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that color. So, and I wasn't sure if I told you guys I got this ginger too. So, I've got my oranges and celery and dandelion and apples and ginger and beet left to go. <laughs> and cute little baby girl. So I wanted to show you guys, I probably end up with another gallon, but it's just the pretty color of this green before I add the beet. <clears throat> I, uh, this is a little thicker because some of those apples were a little soft and you don't want to juice soft produce for sure it just doesn't work clogs up the juicer but um i wanted to show you guys <sighs> what i ended up with i don't have any coconuts poor me look at that beautiful um i was supposed to pick those up yesterday too and it didn't work out but i'm gonna hopefully get those today so I am going to rinse this out and add some coconut ice cubes because I do have some of those and um, I'm going to give it a taste. So I filled it up with the rest of the coconut ice cubes I had. Coconut is supposed to be really good for the thyroid. Oh, look how talented I am. <laughs> So I'll probably drink this now, the whole thing, and then after my colonic, I plan to drink kombucha for the very first time. I bought it a couple times and I uh, could never get myself to try it. So I am going to get it and raw. I'm going to fill my body back with probiotics and good stuff. So immediately following the colonic, I will have the kombucha. And then I will replenish um, nutrients this way for the rest of today. I am going to try this juice. Mmm. Mmm. It turned out really good. Really, really, really good. <laughs> if it was gross, I would totally tell you guys it was gross. I was worried about the beet really changing the flavor of what I was going for today. But it, it was really nice. It's really, really nice. Those coconut ice cubes. And I'll be picking up my case of coconuts um, today. And I'll probably mix it with some of this. And what's the news? Derek, what do you say? My neighbor guy is looking at my car right now. He's a mechanic, so fingers crossed. Okay, so this juice is lovely. It's perfect. It's everything I need. One thing I do want to say is that after 24 hours of water fasting, you know, I had all this mental blockages and, um, and I'm still <laughs> trying to find my words, but the mental clarity that I have now is so much better than before the water fast, which is really crazy. Energy was really, really down. I did a lot of laying down, a lot of resting. Um, but I definitely have a lot more mental clarity, so that's a good thing. My car is probably not good, though. I just found out. I had to go and uh, find out. So he thinks it's a part in the transmission area that his could put in to rip out the whole transmission. It's not going to be worth it, so... I'm sad about that. <laughs> Anyways, I am uh, going to um, drink a quart 
And then I'll have um, three quarts left for the rest of today, which would be very nourishing for me after um, everything that I already told you. And I will pick up a case of coconuts and go to my clinic and talk to you guys tomorrow. Did